Hello, hello. Hello, hello from Kampot, Cambodia. Rob here, as usual. Sorry, the camera's a little wonky. I'm holding a small stick. This is a, a little walk about Kampot. So I'm just having a little cruise through Kampot village, Kampot city, to show you around a bit and show you what it looks like. There's lots of things going on. I mean, it's daytime now. It's about 12.30. It's a popular place called Top Spin. There's the bar with the table tennis. With the table tennis table, which is interesting to say the least. And then, so I'm just going to take you a tour of the city center. Hello. And there is, oh, this is my favorite, cashier. <laughs> this is called Daily Meat. And they have, it says, sales of meat, cheese, sausage, clothes, and eggs. So they sell all pretty good uh, meats, everything you want, and healthy eggs, and all, all kinds of other pro produce. So they're very popular in town. One of the best places to buy meat in Campod. But not the best. The best is CP shop and also Mike's Butcher, German guy. And there's another one over there called Meat and Greed. They actually belong together. So I don't really know why they have two, but they do. Anyway, now we're coming up to the to the old uh, old market. It's called. Before that, though, I'm going to show you. There's a bubble tea place, always full of kids. There's a new coffee shop that's been built. Mostly frequented by the Cambodian people. Now we're walking into town, into the centre. That's a nice supermarket over there, also called Dadavan. And here is a big, 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 big uh, restaurant, cafe, roof, bar, roof terrace bar called Kapal. Uh, popular but expensive, relatively speaking. So, you've got the pharmacy, the big food mini market, which is great to buy, buy cheap wine. And then, just up here, you have food stalls. All right, so, and then a few gross, uh, vegetable shops. So, not much, and there's the ABA bank over there. So, start going down this way. So, that's that Kapal is, is a very nice place, but I don't really tend to go out much anyway, so I don't. I've, I've been there once in about being in camp for eight months. So now we're walking down towards the main streets. This here is the old market, so called old market. I don't know why it's basically full of. Full of um, night, late night bars, late night bars and lady bars, as they call them, uh, with pool tables and you know they lure you in and and uh, make you drink and sort of the rest of it. You know, you know the deal. If you've been to Southeast Asia, that is Happy Yummy Pizza. I don't know what that is. Doesn't look that yummy to me. A couple of Indian restaurants and. See all these, all these here, Simon's, the squinting cat and whatever, they're all lady bars. And we have a very good pizza place I highly recommend. Not pizza, burger. The best burgers in town besides the one I make, besides the ones I make at home. It's called, uh, let me see, can I forget the name? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the Laundry Cafe Burger. The Laundry Cafe. That's it. It's very, very good burgers there, good deals. And here's the J Break. How am I sitting outside? So the J Break Cafe and Restaurant is very, very good. Good quality. A bit expensive, but not too bad. It's right opposite the new Starbucks in Cambodia, which is the, the highlight for the Cambodian people because they not used to Starbucks and it's down here and that's there. So and the old bridge is over there which leads over to Boko Mountain. You can see in the distance a huge mountain range, 30-40 kilometers long. It stretches all the way from Kep all the way around the back of Kampot and makes uh, joins the Boko Mountain. So as you can see Jaybreak is very nice. 
lovely cafe restaurant. These, the Starbucks is situated in the so-called so fish market, which used to be an original fish market, and sadly it isn't anymore. There's another mini mart, which is quite popular. They sell more drinks and junk food and stuff like that. So now we're walking up the other side of the old market, where they have Italian restaurant with pizza and ice cream, the usual Italian stuff and pasta. Of course, I didn't eat that because oh. I stay healthy and keep my diet to meat, fish, seafood, eggs, animal fats, and animal products, and that's it. And then on here, this is a very good little place. It's called Old Town Mini Mart Wine Selections. So they have lots and lots of, I don't know, they sell all the, this is where most restaurants and hotels buy from. So let me print. Hello, it's my friend. Yeah, hello. So. <laughs> This is the owner, and your name is? What is your name? Uh, Hokin. Hokin, it's Hokin. Yeah. Okay, I come here a lot to buy my yeah. drinks, as you can see, pastis and wine and everything else and spirits we got. From where? The country? Yeah, this is a YouTube video that's going to USA, Europe, and everywhere. Oh. <laughs> so you come when you come to camp, when you come to the old 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 town, old, old town, uh, um, yeah. yeah, wine wine shop. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that's a very, it's a very good place because you get everything that you want done. It's, it's not expensive. It's not expensive like in Phnom Penh in the, um, the big liquor markets, you know? So, and he's a very, very nice man as his wife is too. From here we got Darling Bar, we got something else, have a nice night and more lady bars and a spicy bar and so on. And these are all late night lady bars. And that's okay, because that's just the way it is, right? And then this here is Romantic 169 Tours, where I rent my motorbike from. It's a lovely lady called Sophia. Hello. She's not here right now, but anyway. So have a look. Romantic 169 Tours. They do work permit, boat ticket, visa, passport, bus ticket, everything. So she does my visa for me. Takes a week and it's easy, it's easy peasy. So that's a t little tour around Camport, and there's a nice little vegetable and fruit shop here, which is convenient because it's right in town, but it's a little bit pricey. Hello. And then there's a couple of restaurants, Milano Pizza, Camp Camp. There's lots of restaurants here, but these are two popular ones: Happy Chef Pizza. But I don't like them all that much. Anyway, there we go. Down this side, of the uh, Auberge de Soleil, my favorite Swiss restaurant in town. And up there is the Fat Cat, another, another so-called fun bar slash lady bar with pool. All right, that's that. There was traffic, there's nobody stops you here. You just carry on and push on through. You don't really I've never been taught that pedestrians come first. Uh, but that's the power, but it's quiet right now, as you can see. Anyway, that's it. Little uh, guided tour from me here to you in, in the rest of the world from Camport. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.